Hi everyone, my name is Alexandra Landry and I'm a fourth year PhD graduate student in the Department of Chemical Engineering here at the University of California in Berkeley, California. And today I'm going to talk about an element that we all absolutely love, even though you might not know why you love it yet, and that's lithium. So first a little bit about its properties. Lithium is the lightest metal. So it only has about three positively charged particles called protons in its nucleus, whereas other metals such as gold or platinum can have over 70. It's also fairly soft, so you can cut it with a knife or scissors, but you really can't underestimate it because in the contact of water, it can actually be explosive and highly flammable. For this reason, in nature, lithium is found in very low concentrations, for example, 0.002 to 0.007% in rocks such as granite. However, there is one place where you can find lithium in higher concentrations, and that's the Salar de Uyuni in Uyuni, Bolivia. So I recently took these pictures on a vacation to visit family in Bolivia, and under the salt crust here is a brine. This brine has about 0.3% lithium, which is unheard of and very valuable for Bolivia. So why does Bolivia care about lithium? Why does the world care about lithium? Why do you care about lithium? Well, the reason is those cell phones, laptops, and tablets that we've all grown addicted to. Until recently, uh, most electronics were a lot clunkier, had less function than what we see today. And the reason we've been able to go to smaller and smaller devices with more and more applicability is the lithium ion battery. Lithium ion batteries have a very high energy density, meaning you can store a lot of charge, but very lightweight, just as I mentioned before. So how does the lithium ion battery work? Well, it's quite complicated, but in general, a battery has two charge-carrying devices called electrodes, the anode and the cathode. When you're using your device uh, and you're drawing energy, a chemical reaction at the anode causes electrons to flow through this outer circuit to the cathode. This flow of electrons generates a current which powers your device. Now, if you have a buildup of negative charge at the cathode, this would cause a charge imbalance and cause the battery to stop working. So you need a positive ion, in this case lithium, that can flow from the anode to the cathode and balance the charge. Now lithium is valuable not only because it's lightweight and has a high energy density, but it can also do that reaction in reverse. So you can charge your battery and reuse it um, for your cell phones or your laptop. So you might not have known it before this presentation, but you actually have a lot to be thankful to lithium for.